So what I'm looking for is nectar, good mature brood, and there's a good frame of it, and plenty of nurse bees. Hi, my name's Chris. I'm a beekeeper in southern New Zealand. Today I'm going to do some splits. I've got queen cells ready to be placed actually tomorrow, but because it's warm weather here in New Zealand, better weather than what we've had in recent weeks, it's now going great. Uh, I'm actually going to place them a day early, which means that I'm risking it a wee bit because uh, they may well be quite fragile, but I'm doing them a day early because in the warm weather they can actually progress a little bit faster. The heat here is uh, something that, even though it's only 25 degrees centigrade, it's really not that hot by international standards. If I swing this camera around, you'll see that actually our bees aren't used to that. And they like to come out and sunbathe when it's so hot. I'm keeping a close eye on these hives to make sure that they've got plenty of space up top and that they've got ventilation. And even with both of those things in place, some of these bees are still finding it far too hot inside. Now these hives have had at least four splits, some of them five, some of, this, some of the ones I'm taking today might even be split number six this season and yet they're still laying down honey, which is pretty good really. Honey's a byproduct for me because I'm primarily interested in making my income from producing beehives, from producing nukes and queens. So, uh, so if I get honey, that's just a bonus. And it looks like uh, at the rate it's coming in right now that I will be getting some this season. But I'm still doing splits. One of the reasons I'm still doing splits is that I've sold every single nuke that I've produced this season. I thought I'd produced enough so that I'd have some for myself to increase my hive numbers. That hasn't happened. As fast as I produce them, they sell. So I'm just going to produce some more. I live dangerously when I make splits. In the ideal world, I would go through the hive, find the queen, set her aside, and then take my splits out. I don't do that. I find the frames that I want to put into the splits. I study them carefully, looking for the queen, then I go for it. The risk, of course, is that I do take the queen. So what I do is I actually write the hive that the split came from in the top of the nuke. So if I come back in a week and check the nuke, and find it's already got a laying queen in it. That means I've taken the queen accidentally from a hive. I know which hive it is I've taken the queen from and I go back and check it. I don't try and bring the queen back. I've never have tried to bring the queen back. Maybe I could, but I figure that if, she, if they've been apart for a week, the hive might reject her. So what I'm looking for here, these are just, it's the middle of summer, it's the middle of the flow. These are not nukes for sale, they're nukes for me to overwinter. So what I'm looking for is nectar, good mature brood, and there's a good frame of it, and plenty of nurse bees. So there's a frame of brood. Have I taken the queen by mistake in the past? Absolutely. Am I going to again in the future? No doubt. Because these nukes are for my own use, I'm not too worried about it if there's an older queen in one of them. And if the hive that I've accidentally taken the, the queen from fails to requeen, I can always take one of my new queens, put her in a queen cage once she's mated, and bring her back and introduce her to requeen it. So this brood chamber is getting plugged completely. They are making brood in the next box up. So as I said earlier, I want plenty of nurse bees in there because I, well I want plenty of bees in there because I know that some of the bees I'm shaking in there are foragers that are going to just fly straight back here. Looking for a good frame of nectar or honey. I'm going to put that one in. 
It's got a wee bit of brood in it as well. Does it have a queen on it? It's unlikely that the queen is down here because this is getting plugged, so she's got nowhere to lay. I'll be back in this yard tomorrow to give them another check and I might need to add extra boxes on top of some of these hives. There's some nice pollen on both sides of that frame, so I'll pop that in there as well. Again, just scanning for the queen. A lot of my queens are not marked, so I do have to be reasonably careful. This frame's got a lot of drones on it, which makes finding the queen a little bit harder because she won't stand out quite so much as being bigger. But like I said, I think it would be highly unlikely. That there'll be a queen in here at this part of the hive. I'm just going to turn those around. So that they're sitting in there in the same orientation to the entrance as they were in the original hive. I'm going to drop my frames, empty frames on the outside just to take up the space so they don't draw a funny comb. And that's making a split. Now I will make three more, take them down to the newt yard and we'll place queen cells. Placing the cell is pretty straightforward. I've got a hot box here, it's just a bottle of hot water inside a cooler, and I've got my queen cells. Find the frame of brood. Push the bees out of the way with one finger and then just gently nudge that into the brood until it sticks. And then you draw it up next to the frame beside it, stop it dropping out. I place them about there because that's where they put supersede yourselves. So I figure that's a sensible place, that's probably where they would have put it if they were wanting to produce a new queen or emergency cells. You might have noticed that I've put some rocks on top, although it was a bit far away from the camera, on top of some of those hives. They are the split, some of the splits that I did yesterday and too many bees have migrated back to their original hives. The bee numbers are a bit low in those hives, so I'm going to go and get some more nurse bees, shake them out of a good strong hive, let the foragers fly off, and then tip them into those hives just to boost them. So that's doing splits.